certain reactions called redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons from one atom to another. Now in order to keep track of these electrons, a system was devised in which each atom is assigned an electrical charge. Now this electrical charge is known as the oxidation number or oxidation state of our atom. So oxidation states are just the different possible charge values that one can assign to a specific atom. Now these oxidation states help us keep track of these electrons. But in order to use these oxidation states, we must learn a few rules. Let's look at these rules. So all atoms in their elemental state are given an oxidation state of zero. There are no exceptions to this rule. So atoms called fluorine always get oxidation states of negative one. There are no exceptions to this rule as well. So atoms called hydrogen are given the oxidation state of plus one, but there's one exception to this rule. They're given oxidation state of negative one when combined with metals, such as, for example, sodium or calcium. The atom oxygen is given the oxidation state of negative two, but there's an exception. It's given oxidation state of negative one when combined in the form H2O2. But that's because this rule is more important than this rule. So on this table, every rule that comes before it is more important. For example, this is the most important rule, the second most important rule, third most important rule, and fourth most important rule. So when you're assigning these oxidation numbers, you must keep that in mind. Now let's look at a few more guidelines that we can use when assigning oxidation states. Now this table is meant to be a guideline. It's meant to help you assign oxidation states. They're not rules that will always work and in fact the table given before this table is more important and so it precedes this table. But let's look at the general guidelines. So the group number one, the alkali metals, are assigned an oxidation state of plus one. Group number two, the alkali earth metals, are assigned oxidation state of plus two. So group number 15, including nitrogen, phosphorus, and so on, are assigned an oxidation state of negative three. Group number 16, including oxygen, sulfur, and so on, are assigned oxidation state of negative two. And finally, halogens are assigned oxidation state of negative one. Now, let's do a few examples using these guidelines and rules.